Well, 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 hello. We are going to start pretty soon. Mr. Osorio, hello, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Everything is okay. It was a good day. I finished all my tasks, teacher. That's great, that's great. And you know, today, tonight's class is going to be very interesting. Tonight, we are going to work with passive voice. We work with passive voice. Passive voice. Yep, that's a very okay. interesting topic. That's a it sounds interesting. interesting. Yes, it is. Actually, it's very interesting because uh, the idea originally doesn't exist in, it, in Spanish. I mean, well, actually, when I was learning English, Passive voice was not used in Spanish. It yes, started teacher. being accepted and used in Spanish just from a few years ago. Before we didn't speak that way. And actually it's not, I mean, in spoken language it's not that common. It's more common in written English. Oh, okay. I understand it, I get it. So, as I told you, it's going to be quite interesting. And tell me, how was the weekend? Uh, it was cool, teacher, because uh, it was the, my birthday, my daughter's birthday. And oh, yeah, I remember you were going to take her for lunch, right? Yes, teacher. Um, we went to, to lunch of Cailan uh, Chino because... Oh, really? Yes, teacher. It was her wish, Excellent. and my daughter was, was it's happy. When, it's good when we are able to fulfill those those wishes on our kids. It feels nice, right? Yes, teacher. When mm. I when I see her smile, I'm happy too. Yeah, of course. I mean, it. it's worth it. Do you understand that expression? No, teacher. Okay, let me take it for you. And you show me. Okay, it goes like this. It's worth it. Vale la pena. It worth, ah, uh, yes, teacher. I understand, I got it. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's worth it. Yes, it's, it's worth it's, it. It's worth it. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. 
Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be able to do those little things. And, and as you say, when the, we see their faces, we'll feel happy and satisfied, right? Yes, teacher. Because I feel satisfied. It's cool. It's nice. I like yes, that. I like that. I understand. <laughs> I completely understand the feeling. Yes. Yeah, well, yes, Jose, welcome to the class. Nice having you. Thank here you, teacher. Nice. Nice. Thank you, teacher. Marta, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, my dear? I'm good. And you, teacher? I'm just fine. Just fine. You're on vacation still? No, teacher. Oh. I am work. Yes, today today was a, a very, very, very hard my work. A but, very hard day at work. But, okay, very hard day at work. Perfect. Thank you. Um, because I, I, I have many, many cases uh, in platform. But everything was okay. I, I, um, how do you say, un par de pendiente? The thing is this, that we don't use the word, I mean, in Spanish we say pendientes, but actually if, if you use that word, uh, you are referring to, to pendants, to earrings. Right? Ah, okay. Hi. Or or you are referring to a to a hilly place. That's a slope. Okay. Okay. O se refiere como una inclinación de, inclinación. de un terreno. Uh -huh. That's slope. Okay. Okay. So in this what case, is the, we say, the, the we say hold on, hold on, hold on. We can say pending. Pending activities. Ah, okay. But Pay as I tell you, we activities. must be we must be very very careful because when you say pending, you are saying pendiente, but it's an activity. Okay. When okay. you say pendant, it's pendiente, but it's an it's Okay. Yes. Okay. When you see when you say slope, it's pendiente, but that's inclination. Okay. 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 Yes. Land. Okay. So it's quite this interesting. This case is pending. Yes. And, okay. and as I tell you, the the uh, 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 this funny thing is that in English, actually, each of these situations has its proper word. But in Spanish, we use the same word for many different things. Yes. So in this particular case, English is a little bit more specific. Okay, teacher. So remember, when you I are saying it. activities, and this is for the ones who are just connecting, when you are referring to an activity, you say pending activity. Pending. Okay, pending, okay. pending activity. Pending activity for tomorrow. Okay, so you have some pendings. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Some pending for tomorrow. Oh, yes, I know, but that's not I, that good. I, I need solve. <laughs> yeah, you will, you will. Well, hey, tomorrow is a oh well, tomorrow is a holiday here. I don't know. Yes, 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 I know. And your job is not a holiday. It is not a holiday, but okay. I am working. Just give me a second. I'm sorry. Just a second. Yes. I am back. I am back. I am back. I'm sorry. Well, Marta. A pleasure to have you here in class. That's Thank you, excellent. teacher. Because we are in the last classes and we are getting into the very interesting topics. Let's okay. see. Thank you. 
Thank you. No, thanks to you and welcome. Lucero, hello, how are you? Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good How evening. are you? How are you? I am just fine. What about you? I don't hear. I am just fine. What about you? Okay. Currently, I am eating a peach and, and I am very, very tired because, because um I I have I have been I have been in the park. Oh really? What were you doing at the park? At the park. Okay, at the park I was I was working out because I like to to Mm, quiero decir que Exercise. me gusta me gusta quitarme el estrés. Oh, okay, to unwind. You can say it like this. Informally, you can say unwind. Unwind. Or if you want to be like like to, very, very like formal, you can say to, you can also can say to get rid of stress, to get rid of stress. Oh, yes. Either one get is rid of the stress. Okay, I like to get get rid of the stress. And and when I I did that, I I I felt uh, with more energy. Even I I like to to listen your class when. When I get rid of the stress. That's good. That's good. I am happy that you got rid of the stress mm -hmm. so you can be ready for the class. Because I was telling uh, Mr. Osorio, tonight's topic is going to be very, very interesting. I hope you guys like it because I have prepared something very interesting. I even have a PowerPoint presentation so we can check out one very special and specific topic. Welcome to the class, Lucero. Nice having Thank you here. William, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you, mister? Very well, teacher, and you? I am just fine, thank you. And tell me, what's your day? Uh, I didn't know God this day. Oh, really? Yes, I had a rest. And tomorrow a holiday? Yes. So you yeah. didn't work yesterday either? Then Wednesday, you are working. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Yes. That's uh, great, good for you. But I had working in the plant for now. Yes, I uh, know, I know that you have worked in the platform, William. Actually, you finished the platform already, right? Yes, I need to ponerme el día, teacher. How do you say? To get up to date. I need to be up to date in the activities in the platform. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, because I was checking today and you finished everything, right? Yes. That's excellent, congratulations. Yeah, Thank because you. right now I am getting all the great team. I'm checking that I have some people still missing, but not you. You are okay. You're doing okay. Excellent, sir. Welcome to the class, William. Thank you very much. Thanks. Ambar, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? I'm just fine. Just fine. Tell me how's everything. Everything is okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, you are beginning the month, right? Yes, it's the beginning of the month, and I hope to this month it will be better than the past the previous one. The last month. Yes. Okay, yeah. I mean, we need to make our effort hope for the best. Yes. 
So tell me, what about the weekend? How was the weekend? Well, it my weekend was very good because I spent time with my ex partners. Uh, how do you say, me ex compañeros de trabajo? Ex coworkers. Ex coworkers. Because well, you can say you can also use this word. También puedo usar esta palabra. Former. Former. Yes. It means the same as X. Ah, okay. I spend time with my former co-workers. Yes. Co-workers, sorry. Because okay. uh, I went to yes. the baby shower. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay, well, that's nice. That's nice. How was the baby shower? You have fun? Yes, it was fun. Okay, nice. Yeah, baby showers. Yes. Let's see. I don't I don't like those things. Those things are not for me. Yes, he, the baby is is a boy. <laughs> oh really? When yes. is the baby due? Sorry? When is the baby due? On oh, December. Espera. Oh, December. Yes. Yes. That's cool. That's cool. Excellent. A nice month. I am from December. Oh, really? Yep. I am December the 17th. Um, what about one, you? When's one your week before the Christmas. The Christmas. Yes. My what birthday about you? When's is your birthday? on. March 24th. Oh, nice. Oh, March 24th. That's cool. Yes. It's a hot month. Well, not that hot. Yeah, a little bit. Is is less than April. Yeah, or May. May those months are those months are terrible. Yeah, but you can you can celebrate at the beach, cool. Exactly. Okay, Ambar, welcome to the class. Always a pleasure. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Maria Alejandra, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Good evening, Maria you? Alejandra. You're fine. Excellent. <laughs> That's just great, Maria Alejandra. Because let me I see. Working you in the finished, platform. <laughs> you haven't finished the platform, Maria Alejandra. No, teacher. I am still working in the platform. Yes, I hope I for, to yes, finish <laughs> today. <laughs> okay, let's hope so. Let's hope so. And tell me, how was the weekend? I'm fine, teacher. I'm only working. Ah, I work. That, uh, I work in Saturday. And the closing is the quiet or mm -hmm. tranquilo. Calm? No, calm. Calm. Is the calm? It's when very you say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, when you say Pero. the difference, the difference between quiet and calm is this: when you say quiet, you are talking about noise. Okay? Ah, okay. When you say calm, can be a situation or a person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And then I went to the Santa Borgesa in Plaza Madero. Okay. In Itayao Yao. That's okay. nice. I eat a Yao Yao. And yesterday I visited uh, my mother and then visited my grandmother. Okay, that's cool. So you've been busy. Huh? You've been busy. <laughs> yes. 
That's cool. That's cool. Yes. Excellent. Thank you and welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, teacher. Let's see. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Francisco, how are you? Hello, teacher. It's fine, teacher, in my work. Oh my gosh, you're at work. Oh, he's busy, he's busy. Okay, let's see. Shanira, hello, Shanira, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good, thank you. I'm just fine checking out. Oh, congratulations, you finished the platform. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, because I'm checking, you know, I'm telling off people who has not finished the platform yet. Hmm. Kidding, just yeah, this, kidding, is a so. re this is a reason that I take time for finish. I think, oh, my teacher says in the class, you are not finished your platform. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a kid. I was, I was this close of believing you, this close. <laughs> yes, teacher, it's true. So, how's everything? All is okay, teacher. Ready for the trip? Well, I'm here. Yeah, I'm ready for the trip. Oh, okay. that's cool. That's cool. I'm waiting for that. Excellent. So, when is your flight? On Wednesday, right? Morning, uh, afternoon, yes. or night? Morning. Very early. Seven. Early. Seven a.m. Seven in the morning. Yeah. So you're gonna be you're yes. going to New York. No scales. No, it's directly. Okay, a direct, a direct flight. A direct, yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna text it for you. A direct flight. Okay. Okay, a direct, a direct flight. flight. So seven customs and everything, 7, 8, 9, 10, around 10, 30, 11, you're gonna be out, right? Uh, 12. 12. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, here. Which airport are you going to go down? Uh, Jeff, Jeff Kennedy. GF, GF. Jeff Kennedy. That's nice. That's nice. A big one. It's a big one. And yes. Crowder. It's Crowder. All times packed full. Like a Houston. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that the, those are like uh, centers where, air, I mean, you can catch a connecting flight from there to whatever. Yes. It's Crowder. Interesting. So, how was the weekend? Very busy. I visited the bear with my four dogs. They are a uh, vaccine. <laughs> Imagine uh, take one and put in a desk and, or, or a table and wait for, for the bear, put a vaccine, and then take the dog and go out and take another and fighting went for driving when there was crazy and when we finished the this task we moved to the park and i come back and, and i come back to the and doctor back. and back because i was a uh, I forget the, the, the word for Sita, but oh, in a doctor. Appointment. appointment, yes. Because I was an appo appointment. I had an appointment. I had an appointment. And when we when when I finished this, I moved to the to the park, but I made a uh, some stop for buy for boat food for 
my mom, my father, my brother, and my four dogs, and moved to the park. And uh, yo quería, teacher. I wanted to. I wanted to pick up uh, some package in the correo. Mail. Like mail, but I no, can't. In the post office. Yeah, in the post office, but I can't. I couldn't. Because, but I couldn't because was was late. Oh, it was closed already. Yes. Then uh, we come back to the home. And yesterday I go to the price mark for both uh, food for my for dog. Buying. For buying. It's not past teacher. No, I went. If you say for, I went. That's in past. For buying. Actually, in that case, the most proper okay. would be I went to buy. Okay, okay. I went to buy uh, food for my dogs. And uh, I come back to my home and uh, in afternoon. Came back. And back. And afternoon, I moved to the another market because my mom need to uh, uh, go to the drug drugstore. And we we ate some hamburger, and we come back to home. And that's it. We came back home. We came back home. I will touch you that word on yourself. Came, <laughs> came, Janita. Came. Wow, you know, I just got tired just from listening to you. Okay, teacher. Many activities. Thank you, Janita. Thanks for sharing with us. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, before I move on, I need to get uh, attendance. So if you are so kind, Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Uh, Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Oh, there's Daniel, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Present teacher. Thank you, María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanael Ayala Arizondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Thank you very much, guys. Let's see. Walter, hello, Walter. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Uh, and a little sad, teacher. Oh, really? Tell me why. Oh, uh, how do you say perdimos y quedamos eliminados? Oh, <laughs> my gosh. You lost the game. Really? Oh, my God. That's gosh. bad. And tell me, what position were you in? That was the finals, semifinals, quarterfinals. 
uh, quarterfinal teacher. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, but you played a lot. That's nice. No bueno que jugó mucho. That's good, that's good. And tell me, what was the score? ¿Cuál fue el resultado? Okay, teacher. What was the score, Walter? Excuse me. Uh, I had a problem with my connection, teacher. Okay. What was the score? Let's see. This is the question. What was the score? Huh? What score? Well, there's, yes. El resultado. Oops, I think yeah, it's having serious problems with connection. We will talk later, Walter. Don't worry. Wilfredo, how are you? Fine teacher. What about you? Did you win? No, sorry. We lost the match. Oh my gosh. Come on, guys. The goalkeeper didn't arrive. No fue? Oh, didn't really? go. Yes. Yes. It is a really difficult play without goalkeeper. Okay. And what was your score? Ah, we lost two to zero. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I mean, with really. no goalkeeper, with no official goalkeeper. Yes, and one goal was a, a penalty. Oh, that's sad. Yes. yes. That's the way of the game, man. Excuse me, would you repeat? That's the way of the game. Así es el juego. Ah. Ah, okay. New phrase for me. Sometimes you win some, you lose some. Yes, yes. But the important it is, it is to play teacher. The result yes, sometimes sure. it is, it is nice when we play, we, when we win, but. Um, you don't win all, all of them. You don't win them all. Yes, yes. Yes, and what about you, teacher? Well, you know, same old stuff. Uh, working, busy as usual. Same story, my friend, same story. And I'll what about tomorrow? Do you have? Yes, uh, then, then. Do, do you have a plan for tomorrow? Yes? Yes, yeah, staying home. I don't go out tomorrow. <laughs> Hey teacher, do you didn't don't like so much Christmas? And well, tomorrow it is. It is um, common have a meeting with with family. Yeah, eat together. The, the thing is, this my family, all of them go around. Everybody but me. I don't. I stay home. I will sleep. Ah, okay. Well, okay. no, actually, I am preparing exams. I need to prepare some exams tomorrow, but a couple of hours. I will work just for a couple of hours, and I need to update the the, the platform. Tengo que poner al día las notas de la plataforma from everybody here, de todos acá. Update? Uh, yes. Porque ya estamos cerrando. Yes. So I have to do it. So it's going to be, you know, calm day. Thank you, Wilfred. Nice talking to you. Okay. Teacher, teacher. Yes. I need to go with my children to do something. May I receive classes with my cell phone? But if I, sure. I I didn't don't hear you, uh, I am going to say I'm sorry, but yeah. I need to go with them. Perfect, perfect. No problem. Okay. Okay, thank you, Let's teacher. See. If I can, if I can participate in some activity, I, I do it. Understand. I did it. Okay, okay I will do it. Okay, thank you, teacher. Nathanael, hello. How are you, Nathanael? 
Um, fine. A little, only um, a little. Come on, come on, Nathaniel. You tell me. Oh, fine. That didn't sound fine at all. <laughs> I'm fine, but a little. I, I don't pronounce the the love of calza. Headache. 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 Oh, okay. really? But That's it's uh, uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, I I think that I want to to probably uh, I I can't uh, drink. I I didn't drink. Uh, enough uh, water uh, in the afternoon, probably. Yeah, that's a problem, that's a problem. Uh, yeah. We gotta wash uh, it out. I think that. Yeah, the irritation affects like that. Yeah, but um, um, for all, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, uh, and I, I am work um, um, a part of date, and I went to the to the mall uh, in a in a few minutes because I need to I I I, I bought um, uh, um, a supporter for my my, my computer uh, because uh, I need I need to to more relax in in, in, in my home office. Okay, well, that's good. I mean, it's if you work from home, I mean, you gotta be comfortable. Yeah, I ha I have a little office in my in my my home, but uh, but it's not similar yeah. to to. It's to for work. when you take from you take part of your job home. I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice, but, but uh, uh, the the in the office is more comfortable from, from from home. But I need to. I think that that a little transformation in, in my home office. Okay, well that's cool. I mean, step yeah. by step, you will be getting it better and more comfortable. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, the same happened yeah. to me. I mean, when I started here, well, first I just had the, the desk and the laptop, and then I was like fixing it up. And you know, I bought my chair and stuff. I mean, pandemics pushed me to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the pandemic transformation is this, um, the old work. For, yeah. For, for, yeah, actually, you know, in my house, we have two spaces like this because we have this big desk. I mean, it's a big desk here. This is our yeah. studio. But my son also, he he asked for a place because of his classes at the university. So he's got another space just for that. Uh, okay. I mean, <laughs> pandemics made us do different stuff. Yeah, you need for... Um, uh, uh, in 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 the in, in the home, uh, all people need to um, um, a trees and and a park and similar um, to, to a space for 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 rest uh, for resting for resting. resting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, long. Oh my gosh! What did I do? Well, Nathanael, a pleasure talking to you. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Roxana, hello, Roxana. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, thank you. Explain yourself, please. <laughs> why, teacher? <laughs> oh, you know why. I don't know why. Could you tell me? <laughs> you don't know why? Because we didn't see you here last class. Yeah, teacher. I'm not 
I didn't feel okay. Si sería, no me sentía bien. Yeah. Yes. I didn't feel okay. And my weekend, it was no good. But uh, this is the reason why I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't. connect. I, yeah, I didn't feel well. Are you getting better? Yeah, teacher, I try to because mm -hmm. I am uh, working in my closing and I have a lot of work and I try to don't um, to don't uh, have uh, no concentrarme en mi salud, no sé. Yeah, not, I try to not don't focus, think in my not health. Focus. Not focus. Yeah, not focus in my health. No, but focus. Focus. Not focus in uh -huh. my no. Focus. Focus. Say it. Not focus. I like that. Don't hit the C. No me golpe la C. That's a whole different story. Eso otra cosa. Focus. Focus, okay. And um, I don't know, teacher, I try to just uh, focus in my job. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, that happens and I understand you completely. Yeah. I understand you completely, like, uh, you know, right now, I, uh, I got the same as you. I got the, uh, uh, I was having problems with my gastritis, like terrible, but medication and get distracted, that helps. That's why Janet is telling me to get a surgery, but you know, uh, surgery is yeah. not, I'm scared of surgery. Well, yeah, it's complicated. I think that I need to uh, get um, glasses. Oh, really? Yeah, because I have a headache. Uh, I think that it was a migraine, but migraine. I'm not sure. Migraine, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think that I need uh, to buy a glasses for my computer. Mm. Maybe. That's going to be fun watching you wearing glasses. <laughs> it's weird. No, but it's I think that it's I need expensive. to buy next. Yeah, I know. The last time I bought uh, glasses for my son and I paid 300 Ouch. around. Because, yeah, because um, he needs he needed um, no sé, una graduación menos, o sea, en menos. Usually less graduation. people, less graduation, huh? uh, because uh, he has a uh, ace in a, yeah. no sé cómo se dice, como, como que se le quiere extraviar. Oh, no. really? Yeah, yeah. No. So, he need uh, he needed um, less graduation because uh, less graduation try to try no try the trata que el uh, perdón es como que hace que el ojo trabaje más no sé cómo yeah es. yeah and, and what they vary are the degrees yeah. Yeah, yeah I know and I know it was I very have the same I have the same problem. Okay. So you know yeah, what I is have. the cost? <laughs> yeah. Today, actually today, I went to the, to the optometrist to get new glasses. And mm -hmm. I took my wife. So I'm getting, I'm going to pay for two pair of glasses. Mine and hers. Oh. Okay. Okay. You have a lot of money. <laughs> no, I am blind. <laughs> Yeah, it's complicated, teacher. Welcome so, to the class, uh, this is, I'm sorry, thank I'm sorry. You. Please tell okay, me. No, no. no, this is the reason uh, that I 
I didn't uh, buy another. I didn't buy glasses for me because I have the other uh, expense. Cost. Yeah. Mm. I understand you. Thank you very much, Roxana. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. Susana, hello, Susana. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi, fam. Thank you, teacher. Hi. Tell me. Hi. How's everything? Hello? How's Excuse me. everything? Ah. <laughs> yeah. Everything okay? Yes, yes, okay. It's a, a regular day. It's a, uh, only thing, uh, dar gracias a Dios. What do you say? To be thankful to God or to thank God? For? To thank God or you can say God. To be thankful. To thank good. To God. God, to God. Be, to be thankful to God. Okay. Yes. To God. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No, no. Thanks to you. So tell me, how was the closing of the month? And uh, no, teacher. <laughs> eh, eh, como si, si, sigo? I'm still at it. You're still I'm, at it. I'm still at it. Oh my gosh. I'm still at it. That's terrible. Yes, teacher. It's a, uh, uh, I, I have, uh, in in prepare to pray to prepare and the report 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 finance finance report oh my mm -hmm. gosh so you are very very busy yes it's a complete but it's a i send in i send uh at the Casa Matriz or? Mm -hmm. the, that's the mother house or the headquarters, the headquarters. Ah, the headquarters, yes. It's a, it's a, but it's a consolidation. Consolidation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let's yeah. hope everything goes okay with you. Just give but me a second. Uh, Thank you, Susana. Tomorrow, I'm sorry. Uh, I, tell me? I visit a uh, uh, the cemetery. How do you say cemetery? The cemetery. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I visit it. I visit the. I will. I will visit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to be visiting. Yes, sure. uh, but, it, uh, but it is uh, para eso, no? <laughs> uh, I have, I have uh, to, to time um, for my, my visit my, my month. I, I get a, a flower. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Thank you, Susana. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's see. And Claudia. Hello, Claudia. How are you? Claudia. I think Claudia is not available. Daniel, you home already or still driving? Okay, and 
the person that I saw, I saw very, very comfortable tonight. Nicolás, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? Good evening, I'm everybody. Fine. I saw you in a hammock. Sorry? I saw you in a hammock a few minutes ago. In a Very hammock? Concerned. Yeah. Was it a hammock? Uh, no, no it is in the, in the, the garden. Oh, really? Yes, in the garden. That's cool. Yes, it's refresh. Yeah, or fresh. It's, it's fresh. It's fresh. Okay. Or you can say you can say it's refreshing here. It's refreshing here. Oh yeah. Very, of course. very refresh. Very fresh. And well, I need a, a I need a uh I I need a cheer a relajante. Chair, relaxing. Relax. a relaxing Relax. chair, a relaxing chair, uh, and the in in the garden I have a uh, uh, oof, arboles, trees, yes, trees, and and is 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 very relax, relax, very relax, is very relaxing. And other in 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 other in in their other actions, I view the ceiling. Ceiling. I I view or I watch the ceilings. Ceiling. Cielo. Yeah, el cielo. No, the sky. Ah, yes, the sky. This I I I watch. I watch the sky is other is is a moment very relax relaxing. Yeah, is, is correct. Imagine. Yes, it's correct. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Well, Nicolas, thank you very much for sharing with us. Thank Welcome. you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Okay, guys, look, listen. Let's start working a little bit. Uh, well, first I have an explanation, then we're going to check out something from the book, and then we are going to do an exercise, a little bit of speaking. But before that, I need to make the advertisement. Necesito hacer el anuncio, perdón que pase el español, pero ya saben que esta semana lo hago todas las clases. Eh, ya les enviaron a ustedes, creo, lo de la encuesta de satisfacción. Solamente recordarles que esa la llenamos en la última clase conmigo. Eh, lo vamos a estar realizando el miércoles después de las nueve de la noche. Entonces eso lo haremos juntos. Eh, ¿Qué más decirles? El trabajo en la plataforma, por favor, ya estoy cerrando. Eh, ya a partir de, de ayer comencé, estoy actualizando cada cierto tiempo, varias ocasiones en el día, porque así me lo están revisando a mí. Los que podamos terminarla antes, yo les estaré muy agradecido. Y cualquier duda, por favor, pregúntenme, con gusto les ayudo. Well, let's continue. Ese fue el comercial. Let's continue, guys. Let me share with you something that I prefer so we can remember a topic. Okay, let's see the passive voice. Passive voice. Look, this is a sad story. Last week, I found a great apartment. The rent was reasonable. That's why I decided to throw a party the other night. But the bad part, the next day I was thrown out of it. I was thrown out of it. Okay, they kicked me out. Now, passive voice, active or passive, what is that? I threw a party the other night. This is an active sentence, meaning I did something. I was thrown out of it. This is passive. The meaning, 
something was done to me. What was that something? Oh, I was thrown out. This is passive voice. Now, before I continue with that, let me explain you something. In English, we have something that is called transitive verbs and intransitive verbs. Tenemos verbos transitivos and intransitivos. The transitive verbs are action that the action is performed by somebody and received by somebody. Like, uh, like Susana finishes the report, okay? The action, finish, was executed by Susana. Susana finished it, okay? But the action is also received. What was finished or who? In this case, what? Oh, the report. Listen to this sentence. First, I told you, Susana finished the report. Now listen, the report was Finish it. Okay. Let me give you the example. First, I told you Susanna finished the report. Okay. This is active voice. That was clear. In the passive voice, we have this. The report was finished. And look at this. By Susanna. In the passive voice, Susanna, in this case, if you see, is the one who performs the action. Who's that one? In this case, is Susanna, is the one who performs the action, right? But in the passive voice, in the passive voice, It is not always important who perform the action. So you see, we can say this sentence without saying the name. The report was finished. What is important here? Ah, okay, the important part in this case was that the report, the one who received the action was finished. By whom? Doesn't matter. We can say, oh, the report was finished by Susanna or the report was finished. And that's okay. So remember, this sentence that we have right here, this sentence that we have right here, it's active. And this other sentence that we have here is passive. Okay. So you see. Any question up to here? Pregunta hasta acá. So in this case, the verb. Something that I was explaining to you, in this case, this verb, okay, this verb is transitive. Why is it transitive? Ah, it is transitive because the action is perfect form and receive. That's why we say that the verb is a transitive verb. Okay, then what is an example of an intransitive verb? Oh, simple, look. The baby 
cry all night. In this case, the action is to cry. Who performed the action? The baby. Who received the action? Nobody. ¿Quién recibió la acción? Nobody. So, in this case, if you see, the verb, the action represented by the verb is intransitive. Why? Because this action is not received. Okay? When, how do we know if the action is received or not? Simple. Answer the question. Answer the questions. What or who? Okay. I will uh, I will explain just a little something in Spanish. Yes. ¿Cómo sabemos si es transitivo o intransitivo? Un verbo es transitivo. In this case, it's transitive porque contesta la pregunta qué o quién o a qué o a quién recibe la acción. In this case, el reporte fue finalizado. El reporte fue quien recibió la acción. La acción era finalizada. In the second case, the baby cried. La acción llorar no fue recibida por nadie. Fue ejecutada, intransitivo. Okay? Now, why am I explaining this? I am explaining that because only transitive verbs can be expressed in passive voice. Okay? Solo los transitivos pueden ser expresados en el pasivo. Let's go back to the presentation so you can check it out more clearly. Okay. The passive is formed with the verb to be in the appropriate tense plus the past participle of the main verb. In this case, the verb be is like an auxiliary, okay? Look at the example. The terrorist was arrested early this morning. Toyota cars are made in Japan. A new class representative will be chosen on Monday. These examples show that a passive sentence can be in whatever tense you like. The tense of the verb to be changes to give different tenses in the passive. So if you notice, was, simple past, are, simple present, will be, simple future. And the main verb in, for the passive voice, in past participle, was arrested, are made, will be chosen. Any question? Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's remember the verb to be. In simple present, we have am, is, or are. In present continuous, am, is, or are being. Okay? I am being asked to tell you about the platform. In Spanish, that would be like, se me ha pedido. I am being I am being asked. The present perfect tense, have been, has been. That's the form of the verb be in present perfect. Past simple, was or were. Past continuous, was or were being. The past perfect tense, have been. The future tense, will be. When we use models, remember, after the model comes the verb be in this case, in the simple form, can be, will be, should be, may be, must be, okay? Like I tell you, the platform guys must be finished the soonest possible, okay? 
The passive is more common in written than spoken English. Why? Because it sounds formal. It is very formal and it's impersonal. That's why most of the time, not all the time, most of the time is used in reports of crimes or legal procedures. He was sentenced to two years in prison. Newspaper reports, the match was postponed due to a heavy fog. When we talk about uh, scientific writing, three militaries, three milliliters of water are added to the mixture. Announcements, flight BA302 to London is delayed by two hours. Notices, customers are requested not to smoke. Okay, in these situations in written English is very common. In everyday situations, we use it. When? When we do not know or care who performs the action, when the one who performs the action is not important. In other words, the passive is used when we are more interested in what happens to a thing or a person instead of who executes the action. Nevertheless, it's not unusual to mention the actual doer in a passive sentence. In that case, we put them at the end of the sentence after the preposition. Okay. What's that? What I am explaining here is this. If you remember, in active, we say Susanna finishes the report. In the passive, the report was finished by Susanna. The subject of the sentence became the agent. Cuando el sujeto pasa al final, se convierte en el agente. This was the object. Esto fue el objeto de la oración. The object became the subject in the passive voice. Okay. Let me continue. Oops, before I continue, I need to get the attendance again, guys. I'm sorry. Time's flying. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Elisa Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail. Present teacher. Thank you, Present teacher. Thank you, José. Thank you, Lucero. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present Eh, Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Satilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guadalajara Rivera. Present teacher. Wilfredo Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Sianira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Perfect. Any question up to here? Preguntas hasta acá. No? Okay, let's continue. Okay. So look at this. Great Expectations was written by Charles Dickens. Oh my gosh. I forgot to, to highlight him by. By Charles Dickens. Star Wars was directed by George Lucas. Let's continue. 
Okay, let's see. We have an exercise here. Put the verbs in brackets into the correct passive form. Let's see, let's see. We are going to start doing an exercise so we'll see if we are understanding. Marta. Hello, Marta. Hi, teacher. Okay, what do you think of the first one? Shampoo? This stuff. And the verb be? Is, is this stuff. On animals before it. Marta. Is he? Is sold in shops. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Shanira, next one, this house. Uh, was built? Perfect. In the 19th century. Excellent. Roxana, you got next. Two missing children was Fine. Uh -huh. Where? Where? Were found. Safe and well. Perfect. The missing children were found safe and well. Excellent. Jose, Mr. Osorio, a new bridge? Will build, be, will construct. Will, will be? Will be construct next year. Will be construct. Structure next year. Perfect, mister. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's continue. Look, the exercise. Shampoo is tested on animals before it's sold. This house was built in the 19th century. Two missing children have been found. Okay, Roxana, look. Have been found and still encontrados. A new bridge will be constructed next year. Let's continue. Okay, look, active flow to passive steps. The postman delivers the letters at nine. Step one, we identify the object of the active sentence and place it at the beginning of the passive sentence. What is the object? Who receives the action? The action is to deliver. What is the liver or who is the liver? The letters, this is the object. Step two, identify the tense of the active verb and put the verb to be into the same tense. Okay, which tense is this? It's simple present. So the verb B is are in this case. Why are? Because we are talking about the letters. The letters are. Step three, turn the main active verb into the past participle form. The main verb, deliver. In past participle, deliver. So you see, step first, identify the object. The object became the subject, the letter. Then the verb be in the pre, in the tense, ask. What is the tense? Simple present. The letters are. And then the main verb, deliver at nine. Okay. By whom? Doesn't matter. No importa. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, let's see, let's see. We have the next one. The police arrested the suspect late last night. Okay, let's see. Amber, what do you think? What? How should it be in passive box? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, let's do it together. 
Which is the verb in the sentence? Arrest. Okay. What or who? Que o quien? Fue the, the police. Fue arrestado? La policía fue arrestado? No, 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 no. Sorry. The, the suspect. suspect. The suspect. The suspect. Okay. Then, está el objeto. The object became the subject. Se vuelve el sujeto. Así que vamos a comenzar la oración diciendo. The, su the suspect. Okay. The suspect. Uh -huh. Now, the verb in the sentence, which tense is it on? ¿En qué tiempo está? Tell me, amor, past present tense. or past? Ah, okay. Past tense. Was, Acá luego, was arrested. Exactly. El pasado del verbo ser o estar, because it's the auxiliary. And then, the main verb in past participle. The suspect was arrested when? Last night. The last night. Last night. Perfect. By whom? Podemos decir por quién. It's not the police. mandatory to say it. No es necesario que lo digamos, pero podemos. Uh, by, by the police. Okay. It's not mandatory. Puede ser de las dos maneras. Yes, you can just say the suspect was arrested last night. Yes, I. By the police. Okay. Perfect. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maria Alejandra, you got next. <laughs> no, see. <laughs> uh, okay. First, let's identify which is the verb. What is the verb? Found. Okay. What or whom was found? Him. Okay. Him as a subject, Maria Alejandra? Will be he, right? Uh -huh, he. Okay. Present or past? Present. I know past. Okay. So, what is the verb, the past of the verb be? Was. Okay. He was. Then the was. main verb in past participle. The same way. Este no cambia. So, he was found after an intensive search. Okay. He was found after an intensive search. Okay, now. Ahora viene lo que es opcional. By them. ¿Quién es el them? We don't know. We don't care. No sabemos, no nos interesa. Okay? Okay. So please, Maria Alejandra, read the sentence. He was found after an intensive search by them. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Now, let's see, let's see. Marta, your turn. Okay. Um, we have here, the two detectives question is, him and charge him with murder. The bird is charged. Uh, uh, charged, charged. We got oh. two. The first uh, one is this. Questioner. Questioner. Uh -huh. Who? Okay. Who was questioned? Uh, detective. Él fue, el detective fue interrogado. Uh, uh, him. Marta, him. As a subject? Yes. He. Okay, so he. Was. Simple past, right? He was. Question. Questioner. And. Charged. 
We don't change charge that it. one. And charge with murder. Okay. We don't we don't need to mention two detectives. We could podríamos mencionarlo. Okay. But we don't need to. Okay? okay. It's not okay. mandatory. It's not mandatory, but if we want to include it, we need to include by. the word by. Okay. By, by two, two detectives. detectives. Okay, perfect. Nathanael, your turn. Thank you, Marta. No, teacher. Okay, Nathanael, let's have fun. Divertamos. Okay. Um, How do we start the sentence, Nathanael? He, he, he will take. Will, and where's the verb be? Will be. Will be. Will be. Take. Taken. Remember the best. The ah, best yeah. Past take, participle, yeah. Right? Yeah. He will be taken. To court. To court Late. later Late. today. Okay. By whom? By them. Okay. Right? He will be taken to court later today. Okay, guys. Teacher, now sorry. Let's... Yes, tell me. Do you do you do you you do you can uh, repeat the sentences? In Spanish, uh, the I I need a uh, escuchar the different mm -hmm. form. Is possible? Yes. Let me think. Then I can say. The first one, el sospechoso fue arrestado anoche. Por la policía. Él fue encontrado después de una intensa búsqueda por ellos. The first El, is active. Yeah. The police arrested the suspect late last night. La policía arrestó al sospechoso tarde ayer por la noche. Mm -hmm. En voz pasiva. El sospechoso fue arrestado muy tarde, ayer por la noche, por la policía. Ok, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do something better. Ok, look. Ellos lo encontraron después de una búsqueda intensa. Two detectives question on him and charge him with murder. Okay. Vea. The first one. Here in, in green is active. In red is passive. Okay, Nicholas? Yes. Okay. The police arrested the suspect late last night. The suspect was arrested late last night. Aquí no incluimos el by whom. It's not necessary. They found him after an intensive search. He was found after an intensive search. Two detectives questioned him and charged him with murder. Those detectives lo interrogaron y lo, uh, le presentaron cargos de asesinato. Okay. He was questioned and charged with murder by two detectives. Fue interrogado. They will take him to court later today. Ellos lo llevarán a la corte más tarde este día. He will be taken. Él será llevado a corte. So you see, it changed. The, the most important part is not who executes the action, but who receives the action. Lo más importante acá no es quien ejecuta la acción, sino quien la recibe. Ok. Is it okay, Nicolás? 
Okay, teacher, okay. Fine. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Let's continue. In active sentences, the subject always precedes the action, right? Subject and like I play soccer, that's the subject in that sentence is I. In a passive sentence, the object becomes the subject. In una oración pasiva, el objeto se convierte en el sujeto. The one that is acted upon. The predicate or the complement, the verb, consists of the verb to be and the past participle of the main verb. If necessary, you can use by to say who or what is responsible for the action, okay? If necessary, sometimes it is not. It is often used when we do not know or care who performs the action. Se utiliza cuando no sabemos o no nos interesa quien ejecuta la acción. Okay, now let's focus on the structure. Subject, present form of the verb, to be, plus the verb in past participle. Look, past participle, third form, or irregular verb. Charles writes a book. In this case, look. Charles is the one who executes the action. He writes, what is written? A book. A book is written by Charles. Simple, right? Look, Charles cleans the windows. The windows are cleaned by Charles. Very simple, right? This is when we are talking about present. Now, look at this. We have active. I write a book. You write a book. He writes a book. We write a book. You write a book. They write a book. Now look, a book is written by me. A book is written by you. A book is written by him. A book is written by us. A book is written by you again. And a book is written by them. Remember, the by can be erased. You don't really need this. Let's look at the next example. This is simple present. If you see simple present, the verb being the simple present form is. Why is? Because in this case, the subject in the passive voice is the book. It's an object. It. It is written by me. It is written by you. Okay? Now, look in the past. We have the subject plus the past form of the verb to be plus the past participle perform all irregular verbs. What's that? Okay. Charles wrote a book. So this will be a book, a book was written by Charles. You see? Charles cleaned the windows. The windows were cleaned by Charles. Okay, now let's see the examples of the past. I wrote a book, he wrote a book, he wrote a book, we wrote a book, he wrote a book, and they wrote a book. A book was written by me. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, um, Marta, next one, please. You wrote a book? A book were written by you. A book was written. Roxana, next one. A book uh, was written by him. Okay, perfect. A book was written by him. Excellent. Next one. Thank you, Roxana. Oops. A book was written by us. Susana, you wrote a book. Uh, a book uh, was, uh -huh. was, was writing. Written by? By, by um, your. Okay, by you, perfect. Now, Walter, they wrote a book. A book uh -huh. uh, was written by them. Perfect, Walter, excellent. A book was written by them, great. Now guys, look. Oops. When we are talking about the future, we have the subject plus the auxiliary will as a future form and the future form of the verb to be plus the past participle of the verb. Look at the example. Charles will write a book. A book will be written by Charles. Charles will clean the windows. The windows will be cleaned by Charles. Questions up to here? Preguntas? No? Okay, let's continue then. We have the active and the passive. Remember, we are talking about the future. I will write a book. Okay, let's see. I will write a book. Shanira. Hi, teacher. I will okay, write a book. tell me. Yes. A book was written by me. Okay. I written. <laughs> written. 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 Okay, hold on, guys. My bad. Uh, 
a book will be written by me. Perfect, Janina. Ambar, you got next. You will okay. write a book in passive. A book will be written by you. Written by you. Let's see. A book will be written by you. Perfect, Ambar. Okay. Excellent. Claudia, are you around, Claudia? Okay. Daniel, are you available? No, yet. Francisco, are you busy? Okay, Mr. Osorio, your turn. He will write a book. A book will be written by him. Perfect. A book will be written by you. Uh, Lucero. Okay, teacher. We will write a book. Okay, a book will be written by us. A book. A book. Will, will be, be written, written by, us. by us. Perfect, Lucero. Excellent. Maria Alejandra, you will write a book. A book will be written by you. A book will be written by you. Perfect. Marta, you got the last one. A book will be written by them. Excellent, Marta. Very well done. Now look, present perfect tense. This is the one that we've been waiting for. It's a little bit complex. How do we do the passive voice of the present perfect tense? Let's see. No problem, Francisco. Okay, for the present perfect, we got the subject, then we got the present per perfect form of the verb be, plus the past participle. okay? Charles has written a book. Charles ha escrito a book. A book has been written by Charles. Un libro ha sido escrito. Charles, Charles has cleaned the windows. Charles ha limpiado las ventanas. The windows have been cleaned by Charles. You see? Have and has. Why have and has? Because here we have a book, singular. It has. Here have, why? Because the windows, okay? They, they have been cleaned by Charles. But let's do the exercise. It's better if we do it with the exercise. Look, I have written a book. A book has been written by me. You have written a book. A book has been written by you. He has written a book. A book has been written by him. And so on. You see, continue. Okay. Wow, that was long, right? Before I move on, questions, preguntas. This is a very interesting topic. No questions? You sure? Let's check it out from the manual, okay? Okay, in this case, the manual asks us to focus just on the 
present perfect tense. The passive voice is used when the emphasis of the sentence is on the action and not on the subject. Your Googles have been taken away. Look, they have taken your Googles away. In sentence, in the one A, this one, the person who took away the Googles is not important. Your Googles have been taken away. By whom? We don't know. No sabemos. Or we don't care. The fact that they were taken away is instead emphasized. Lo que nos interesa es que fue alguien nos tomó. They were taken away. We don't know who. No sabemos quién. Okay. Look. Have my safety Googles been stolen? Have they stolen my safety Googles? This question focuses on the safety Googles, not in the person who stole them. Have my safety Googles been stolen? Okay. Now let's do the exercise. We have to complete the sentences in question in the passive voice. We have to choose the appropriate verbs and compare answers with a partner. Remember guys, this exercise is referring to the use of present perfect. So three new safety measures have been and one of these verbs. Let's do it together, okay? Let me just send to the group the picture of the exercise. Don't worry, I'll be passing by each group, helping you out, okay? But now, before we move on, listen up, guys. I will switch into Spanish. A ver. ¿Cómo estamos con este tema? Necesito que, que me digan claramente porque si es necesario yo preparo una actividad extra para la próxima clase. How do we feel with it? Yes, the journey is necessary for me. I need to understand uh, best this, this topic. Okay, what about the rest of you guys? If you want, you can text me in the... Can I chat. ask you something, teacher? Yes, yeah, sure. Please do. Uh, you will share the presentation with us. Right at the end of the class. Don't worry. Okay, thank you, teacher. Let's do something. I will share the presentation. If any question arises, text me, guys. I can help you out. And I will try to prepare perhaps more exercises for next class so we can practice it. Because this is something that you will really, really learn by practicing. Okay, let's see. But right now we are going to start practicing working in groups. Let me create the groups. Just let me do something here. This is perfect. Okay. The groups are created. Let's try to do it, okay? I'll be passing by the groups. You will have five minutes to try to do the exercise, okay? Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, teacher. A little bit complex, oh, no. right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, the biggest A problem little. is that actually, I mean, uh, well, for you, Roxana, it's actually easier. For Nicolás, no, it's more difficult. 
Because uh, el problema es este, Roxana. Cuando Nicolás y yo crecimos y aprendimos a hablar nuestro idioma, eso no existía. Oh. In Spanish, o sea, that way of thinking is new. En español, pensar y hablar de esa manera se adaptó a ser es nuevo. I mean, in languages, something that is something this heavy in grammar, un aspecto gramatical así de fácil, pero algo que se puede uh -huh. hace 15 años es nuevo. Uh -huh. Okay? You are younger. Okay. That way of thinking is actually more in tune with you. Time. But in Spanish, in English, it's different. Yeah, but it's the remember, first time that I see. Languages are about thinking. No, look. Uh, usually, I I use it. I use it with you guys in classes. The only thing is that you have not noticed it yet. You will notice in a couple of classes that it's something that I've been using with you and that you have been answering to. Like, yeah. look, Roxana, tell me, the glasses, your son's glasses, were they prescribed by a doctor? Mm, not yet. Maybe it will okay. be. Okay. Okay. I use passive voice. Y la entendió. Right? Sí, pero diferente. <laughs> no, no, it's the same. Pero... <laughs> because in English, it makes perfectly and totally sense. En inglés tiene completo sentido. The problem mm -hmm. is that you are trying to, to translate it into Spanish. Yes. In Spanish, it won't. But in English, that way of thinking is pretty correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Okay. Hello, guys. No, teacher. Easy topic, right? Yeah, right. Of yeah. course, yes. <laughs> no, teacher, yeah, we don't understand that. The... Teacher, what, what me... didn't you understand? ¿Qué no me entendieron? The. The yeah, does say. Complete the following sentence, a question in passive voice. Right? Yes. Then we need to choose the correct word for the sentence and change to passive form. Yes. I'll give you, I'll help you out. If you if you I'll give you an example. Yeah. Okay. Three new safety measures have been created. Okay. 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 I okay. You got it? Yes. I'm more or less like our chat about we try. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Teacher. Yes. And what's the mean the the word earplugs? I'm sorry. Okay. With, with, with respect. Airplugs. Uh, oh, te pones para oídos. Okay. Thank you. I've been correct. Okay. Uh, have been the new safety officers. Give. Give. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You did very well. We have been giving new earplugs. The new safety rules are nice. They have been innovative. Wow. The new steel boots have been made. 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 Yeah, remember who said made in China, made in Japan. Sorry, teacher. Okay. <laughs> made, made, uh-huh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> number five, teacher. Uh, 
because it's made of genius leather. It's must make hecho de cuero legítimo. Number four. Oh, the new steel two bolts have been made. Make, verdad? Picture. Made, made. Made, made. Ah, it is. Yeah, like in made in China, made in Bangladesh. Made. Yes. Uh, we are we are confused for us the question number one and number two, teacher. Because number one, I just texted it to you. Okay. Look in the Zoom chat. Three new create. safety measures have been created. Yes, I Así lo teníamos, pero también te, pensamos que create era para la number two. ¿Quién era su compañero? No? Era Francisco, pero que eso se desconectó. Yeah, I can tell. Ok, we're no? going to another room. Yes. ¿Por qué sería? Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Look, I'll teacher. help you out with number one. Three new safety measures have been created. Have been created. Sí. Yes, teacher. Okay, number two. Uh, we have been given new ear plug. Perfect. Number three. Uh, the new safety Google are nice. They have been innovative. Perfect. Number four. <laughs> oh, yes. Vaya, diga la cuatro usted. <laughs> okay. The new steel and toys box and high beam making of made. 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 Yes. And Henry. Así Snyder. como en made in China. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Number, Number five. Five. High beam. The new safety office training. Been trained. Been training. Been training. Y la número and six. Sería. And have we? Have we been issued or given? Issue. And issue. The news. Helmets. Helmets. Yes, exactly. Wow, guys, you did pretty well. Excellent. Teacher, excuse yes. me. I I question. Seria, have we been? O, o llevaría el been a la parte del Which have one? In question. Which one? Which oh, is in a question. Five. No, 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 no. Listen, Susana. Number mm -hmm. five. Has the new safety officer been trained? Mm. Ah, okay. Number six. Have we been mm. given okay. or issued the new helmets? Okay. In question is a being uh, 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 next uh, next to the verb. Next to uh, verbo. Verbo. Yes, exactly. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Very well done, guys. Congratulations. Okay. Okay, teacher. Let me go check the groups. Okay. New. Finish, guys. Um, only one. No, only six. Is 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 still one only. Officer. Which one? The last one. Have uh, we been issued or have we been given the new helmets? Okay. Remember, the B is next to the main verb. Okay. Mm 
Okay, let's just wait for everybody to come back. Maria, Maria. Hi. Hello, Maria Alejandra. I'm fine. You're fine. That's cool because you are the first one. <laughs> okay. Hold on, just give me a second. Just give me a second. Don't be anxious. <laughs> okay, let's. Oops, sorry, guys. Let's see. Number one, Maria Alejandra. Three new safety measures have been created have been given oops have been given or issued okay uh, okay uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry no three new safety measures have been created I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I've been created, my bad. I don't know what I was thinking. Thank you. Roxana, Hi. number two. Oh, I'm not sure, teacher. Tell me. Yes. Hey, we have been uh, <laughs> give? You can say yes, given. In this given. case, is where you can say given or issued, whichever is okay. New airplanes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's see, Susana, number three. Uh, number three is uh, the new safety. Googles are nice. They have been innovated. Innovated. They have been. Have been innovated. Innovated. Perfect. Innovative. Thank you. Walter, number four. The new stair and tow box and had and had been and making have been made of genuine leather the new steel toe boots have been made of genuine leather leather remember steel toe is la uh, okay oh, now good. number five number five let's see janira number five is yours I'm not sure, teacher. Don't uh, worry. Has been the new safety office officer. Uh -huh. Look, the there be in a question comes next to the main verb. Okay. Has the okay. new safety officer been trained? Okay. And in number six, we got, look guys, have we 
Oops. Have we been issued or given? The new helmet? Have we been issued or given the new helmet? Let me get you a picture of the exercise in the group so you can have it and you can check it out. I know that this topic has been a little bit uh, complex. I will try to get you more exercises so you can practice a little bit more. I congratulate you for your effort. And I mean, some of you got it completely. Some of you, I know that you're still like fighting with it. I remember, this is something that you will get most out of practice. And you will be noticing that in some classes I use, like right now, I, I just did. You will be noticing that's you will be noticing that's future for progressive. Okay. You will be noticing that I use it. So it will be noticeable. See that I use it. So don't worry. It's going to be easy. We are just going to practice a little bit more so it becomes easier for you and it becomes more natural. Okay, guys. I know that it's been like a heavy class. Don't worry. Tomorrow you rest. And next day on, on Wednesday, we are going to do some exercises. Let me get the attendance, please. I'm Varelia Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Elisa Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Lucero. Thank you, María Alejandra. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanaela Yala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Present teacher, I have an emergency. I go right now. Okay. Bye. Bye. Roxana Iveta Sencio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. And Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia, she said present. Okay, before you leave, antes de que se me vayan. Eh, thank you guys for staying here. I know that it was a very difficult topic. Eh, no se preocupen, vamos a hacer un poquito más de ejercicios para que puedan ustedes practicarlo. Les voy a mandar la presentación para que puedan revisarla. Cualquier duda, con gusto les saludo. Y una pequeña aclaración. Just let me... Thank you for staying tonight. Please work on the platform. I need that done as soon as possible. See you Wednesday. Enjoy your holiday. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. bye. Yeah, yeah. Ay, no se sale. Good night. Good night, Roxana. Hello. Hello. Just let me do something here. This table is not full. Okay. 
Uh, actually, tonight was Janita Storm, but Janita went away. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to talk to you, to explain you in English or Spanish? Up to you. Spanish. Okay. ¿Cómo? I got it. <laughs> Bye. ¿Cómo estamos con lo de la voz pasiva? ¿Qué me entendió? Para ser sincera, es la primera vez que yo veo este tema. De hecho, creo que una parte de la... Quizás lo que yo considero un poco más complicado es que el vocabulario de verbos no es el muy pasado amplio. El participio Entonces, no ah, lo manejamos mucho. Sí. Correcto. Creo que ese es el problema principal. Porque en español sí es, es muchísimo más fácil conjugar de esa forma. Pero en inglés es un poquito más complejo. Creo que ese es el primer... El primer como... Bueno, pero estamos hablando de verbos irregulares, porque los regulares, el pasado simple es el mismo pasado participio. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Ok, like, uh, like your blouse was washed today. Su blusa fue lavada este día. Right? Uh -huh. With the irregulars, it changed because uh, my hair got, was cut a few days ago. That's a little bit different because cut is the same verb. But, mire, lo más importante a estas alturas y que me interesa que más entendamos es esto. La idea, la idea que transmitimos con la voz pasiva. Lo que sucede es que nosotros en español normalmente hablábamos de una manera directa, ¿okay? activa. ¿Qué nos referimos con activa? Lo más importante para nosotros tiende a ser quien ejecuta la acción, el sujeto, no quien la recibe, el objeto. ¿Okay? Uh -huh. O sea, como por ejemplo usted dice, bueno, le tiraron una piedra fulano el otro día en la calle. ¿Okay? Nosotros no decimos una piedra fue lanzada. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's not like, I mean, that's very formal. Eso es muy formal. Lo escuchamos a de dónde. Si usted se pone a ver las noticias. Por la estructura. Si usted, ve, si usted ve un documental. Porque es un lenguaje muy formal. Ok. okay. En, en inglés informal se utiliza cuando realmente no nos interesa quién lo hizo. O por ejemplo, llega usted y tenía cinco chocolates en su refrigerador. Usted dice, hey, jóvenes, sienta a su dorado esposo y a su hijo y le dice, un chocolate fue sacado de esa refri y quiero saber quién fue. Right? Yeah, that, ha, that has happened. Por lo que veo, ya ha sucedido. No, pero o sea, lo dice de una manera... Totalmente diferente porque usualmente uno lo que dice es, aquí habían cinco, cinco cosas y ahora solo hay cuatro. ¿Quién lo agarró? Uh -huh. O sea, es yes. como una forma muy diferente. Okay. Sí, That's es totalmente formal. diferente. Sí. The thing is this, as I tell you. And the problem is because in Spanish we don't usually think that way and you just told me. Este, el problema es que como usted mismo lo puede decir, en español casi no pensamos así. Acá la idea, Roxana, es simple. No lo piensa en español. Because if you listen to it in English, it makes totally sense. Hey, a chocolate was taken from there. Who was it? It makes sense, right? Suena bien. Sí. A chocolate was taken from there. Who did it? Who took it? In English, it makes total sense, but if you try to make it, to change it into Spanish, it sounds weird. Si tratamos de cambiar, mm -hmm. no suena rarito, right? Sí. Like I tell you, okay, mi cabello fue cortado hace una semana. Sounds weird, right? But in English, my hair was cut one week ago by a guy, you know? In English, it's normal. Y por eso se entiende, ajá, es que se entiende, se comprende en inglés. No, yes. en español, no. 
And that's, I mean, you are discovering now something very interesting. Usted está descubriendo algo interesante. English is easier to think. Es muy simple de entender. Es más fácil para pensar. Because this is a complex, a complex topic. Es un tema complejo. Pero cuando yo se lo digo, usted lo está entendiendo en inglés. Sí. And not, and not at all complex. Y para nada complejo. The, the grammar and the structure comes out as complex, but when you start using it, it's not. No, cuando and yo lo escucho, es, o sea, lo comprendo. Tal vez para mí hablarlo es complejo uh, yeah. por lo mismo, pero al yeah, escucharlo, sí, lo entiendo. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, look, I mean, the same happened to me. This, this topic was explained to me like 20 years ago, and it was fun because I was asked, well, the problem was at the time, uh, hold on. The subject was taught to me by a teacher in a subject that was grammar, uh, what was it? Comparative grammar. And it was very interesting, but I was not that, that good a student. I mean, I was good at listening, paying attention and getting the information, but I was the type of a student that, okay, I went to the class, saw the topic, understood it, and I was gone. So I, I remember asking my teacher, hey teacher, can I go get me a cup of coffee? I mean, I already understood that. And he told me, do you understand it? And I was like, yeah, sure, it's easy. And he told me, okay, you explain it to your classmates. I had to explain it at the university the first time in the same class that I received it. But to me happened the same that is happening to you right now. I, at that time, I already spoke English. So it was easy for me to understand. I mean, grammar, the only thing that did to me was give me the idea of the structure. Because that's what grammar does. Explain to us the structure, and the order, okay? But the sense, the idea, you got it already because quizás no se dio cuenta, pero en esta pequeña historia que les he dicho, le he dado tres oraciones en dos pasivas. <laughs> <laughs> the topic was taught to me by a teacher in comparative grammar. The topic was taught. The tema fue enseñado. And I was asked by the teacher to explain it to my classmates. You see, you were it was making sense for you. Right? Yeah. It's just that at the moment, as you are thinking in English and you are at the level that you can think already in English, it becomes natural. Como ya está pensando en inglés, se vuelve natural. So, don't stress, don't be stressed out by the grammar. No se estrese por la gramática. Okay. Just, if it makes sense to you, you are okay. En este punto, sí. Tiene sentido para usted. Cuando lo escuchen en inglés, así estamos bien. You don't need to teach it. Usted no lo va a ir a enseñar. Okay. No, pero lo podría usar y si, o sea, yo se lo puedo entender. No, you will use it. You will use it. For sure. Guarantee. Le garantizo que lo va a usar. Okay. It's normal, but I mean, don't focus on the grammar. No se me enfoque en gramática en este momento. Enfóquese en usarlo. Y se va a ir dando cuenta que ya lo ha usado. No, yo. Varios de ustedes lo han usado. Yanira lo usa mucho. No se da cuenta que sí, pero lo usa mucho. Uh -huh. Y varios de sus compañeros lo usan, solo que no se dan cuenta. Y cuando lo ven gramática así, uff, it's big, it's complex, it's not. The idea is, if it makes sense right here in your mind, That's what you really need. Si tuvo sentido aquí en su cabeza, eso es lo que necesitas in this moment, okay? So, okay. yes, you need to work with the verbs in past participle, eso sí. Y ahí, como perdón suyo, y el, 
la palabrita salvadoreña hay que guayabeárselos. ¿Cómo? Hay que guayabeárselos. Los verbos en pasado participio hay que aprenderse. That's the only way. Y la única manera es usándolo. Agarre dos, tres verbos, trate de usarlos en el día. Así se le van a quedar. Ok. And don't worry, the passive voice, as I told you, I mean, I've been using it with you. Lo he estado usando con usted, and you have not realized that I have been using the topic, but you have been understanding me, pero sí me estás entendiendo. Right? Sí, claro. So, you know it. It's simple. You know it already, and you're thinking <laughs> in that way. Y estás pensando de esa manera. Como le digo, Casi me explota la cabeza. Con el ejemplo que le puse al inicio, a usted le dio risa porque en español suena raro. Pero cuando sí. le digo en inglés, hey, a chocolate was taken from that fridge. It makes sense. Y en inglés no suena raro. No, ajá. Uh -huh. It's funny, right? Es divertido. <risa> It is. Sí, porque one... realmente debería, o sea, debería tener sentido en español y, y ese realmente es el problema porque nosotros por lo menos yo si no entiendo algo literalmente trato de traducirlo y me imagino que todos hacen lo mismo a pesar de que tal vez mi vocabulario de verbos no es tan amplio pero hay muchas palabras eh, que por lo mismo me, me o sea me suena raro lo voy a traducir todo y no tiene sentido de hecho el traductor ni siquiera se lo puede ni siquiera se lo traduce bien. Yeah, I know. Because el problema es este, que no es lo mismo querer traducir ideas que expresar ideas. Los idiomas expresan ideas. Y no uh -huh. todas las ideas se expresan de la misma manera de un idioma al otro. La voz pasiva es propia del inglés y del francés. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, pensando en esos dos idiomas es muy natural. Y se entiende perfectamente. En el claro. español ha sido adaptado, pero hasta hace poco tiempo. No es propio de nosotros. ¿okay? That's the difference. And I mean, eh, it's, it, is not, it is not that complex. It's just a matter of practice. ¿okay? Practice it, analyze it, and you will see. You will be using it. The only difference now is that Now you will identify when you use it. Ahora cuando yeah. lo uses, ya vas a ver identificar qué es lo que está diciendo, qué estructura está usando. That's all. Okay. Oh, well, don't worry. A pleasure, Roxana. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night.